Hi, everybody. Today's topic is how to become well architected at co selling with AWS. Our guest today is Toby Amy, Director of Partner Development. So before we bring Toby on to it, let's give a little bit of information about who Toby is. Toby has been selling in cloud since 2004. Has cloud been around since then? Well, VMware cloud's been around with them, almost close to AWS, and helping partners build AWS best practices since 2016. He has worked for one of the largest VARs in the world, including the largest AWS distributor, where he began his AWS voyage. I feel like he's like a voyage on the boat. Do I see land anywhere? And since then, he has sharpened his knowledge and skills around co-selling with AWS using the AWS Well-Architected Program as his superpower. Wait a second. Now he's a superhero on a boat selling. Please join me in welcoming Toby to the show. Toby, my man. What's up, man? Actually, it should be, what's up? What's up? Yep, I remember that. Oh, uh, a little throwback there. Toby, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. All right, Toby, before we jump into some things, I always like to uh, kind of give everybody a, a little bit more about you because I get this one little paragraph, but doesn't do the person justice. How about you give everybody a little bit about who Toby is? Well, I've been, like you said, I've been selling cloud since 2004. Yeah, it wasn't cloud then, it was SaaS. I started off in email security and worked my way into you know, data center and hosted exchange and BPOS. And then I got into AWS and, you know, I've been part of it riding this wave since 2016, helping partners build AWS practices. And now I work for an ISV where, you know, I'm helping those partners and their customers manage their AWS environments. And uh, my favorite thing that I'd lead with and tip of the arrow is well architected and co-selling with AWS. All right, Toby, since I've known you, well-architected has been one of your go-to superpowers. And yes, I have to use superpower because it was in your bio, but you're very knowledgeable on the value of well-architected and for partners. Our topic today is how to become well-architected with co-selling with AWS. First, what is well-architected? Yeah, for sure. So it, it really started out in 2012 as a white paper. And then in 2017, the, the Well-Architected Framework Lens was added. And then I think in 2018, the actual Well-Architected Tool came along. And then it was like 2020 when they started, they rolled out a major upgrade and they did the API integration and a tons more lenses. And then that's when you started seeing like ISVs building these solutions to help them go faster through this. But the Well-Architected Framework is just essentially a collection of best practices that allows a customer to evaluate their their workloads right for and, and design and implementation whether it's around cost security efficiency and, and all six of those pillars toby well architected is it a standard set of guided practices that it's basically you must follow or is it living breathing guidance on how to develop and architect your maybe your workload in the best practices through a collaboration? I would say it's the latter. It's definitely through a collaboration, right? It's it's recommended by AWS. I recommend it to my partners and their customers. They should be doing these things like two times a year just to make sure that, you know, they're they're aligned with those those pillars and making sure that they're not missing anything from that aspect, whether it's cost or or security. Um, just really making sure they they got their back covered and a, really a peace of mind in my opinion. We've talked about well architected a number of times on my podcast and the pillars that were with it. Uh, Toby, how many pillars out there? There's six pillars that that are currently in the the AWS framework, and most recently the sustainability pillar was one that was added. So the sustainability pillar was actually talked about in 2021, became public in April of 2022, and integrated into the well architected review. Toby, as a partner. And working with the well-architected framework, how important is it for my customers? I think it's very important. You know, it, it, it again, it's all about having that peace of mind and making sure that they're they're aligned with those pillars from when they either start building a workload or they're looking to just continue to keep that workload optimized on an ongoing basis. It, it really is just a, a way to protect yourself, in my opinion, and and, and make sure that you have that alignment. Toby, what is the value of actually doing a well-architected review on my workload besides the peace of mind? I mean, to me, kind of going in there and evaluating it off of AWS best practices, 
is it is the value making sure that not only is my workload architected correctly with consideration to not only performance, cost, reliability, security, um, and sustainability is on there, but really what is the value of doing this? Can I just do this stuff on my own and be like, yeah, I, f I feel good about it. I mean, you can, right? You could probably do it through the AWS well-architected tool on your end, end as a customer, but a lot of customers don't have time for that, you know? Um, and prior to some of these tools that are out, you know, I was watching partners having to fly their top essay out to the customer site, get everybody in a room, head of, head of um, operations, CFO, security, you know, and then people, oh, I, I got to take a lunch. I'm on vacation. I can't make it. And it, it ended up taking a lot of time. You're spending T&E. Um, you know, you got your most your best guy out on the field doing a, a review. And with with the with a tool like that are out today, you know, they help speed all that up and partners are doing it really to, you know, help drive value, um, but also to have a more meaningful conversation. Right. As a sales guy, I walk in and trying to just fling a few things and hope I sell something. But when you come in with a well-architected review, you know, you're coming with facts to the table. You can't argue with facts. These are actual problems in your environment and we need to address them. Um, you know, we're going to do that through mediation efforts, through an AWS partner that's aligned and accredited in the well-architected program that's going to help be eligible for credits and just making sure that you're tight on that end. Oh, you can't argue with facts. So the well-architected review actually just had a recent release. There was a me as many as 113 new best practices or existing best practices that were updated from the cost optimization, which actually had 22 updates, sustainability 27, operational excellence 22, and, you know, reliability had 14 while performance about 10 and security 18, but a total of 127, that's 78% explicit implementation steps of the well-architected review. I'll drop a link in the description below on a blog post outlining this. But if you look back, Toby even indicated back in 2012, Wall Architect was a white paper. It started yeah. out as an internal document that started, that helped all, you know, the SAs and the PSAs align their partners to well-architected best practices from their customers. Now, Toby, let's jump over to our topic today. What do you mean well-architected by co-selling with AWS? You know, from a, a partner perspective, a sales rep, right? Everybody's trying to recruit with partners. Everybody's trying, I mean, customers. Everybody's trying to align with customers, get in the door and hope they can sell something. Through a co-sell effort, you're aligning with an AWS co-seller, with an AWS rep to go co-sell your solution into that environment typically through the marketplace. That's best, right? AWS sellers are paid on, on, on doing transactions through marketplace. You attach yourself to an ISV Accelerate partner or an ISV Accelerate, and you can go to market together to really help everybody. Everybody wins in that aspect. You know, the partner gets an opportunity to sell their services and remediate. ISV gets an opportunity to sell a license and the AWS seller gets, you know, a marketplace transaction and the customer gets a well-architected review. So it's a win-win for everybody. Okay, right there. That last part that you ended with was key for me and that I was listening to specifically from you is what from the customer side do I get out of this when I go with a well-architected partner and they're co-selling with AWS? I heard a lot of, hey, listen, everybody wins. And then the last part, the customer gets a well-architected review of their environment with some remediation steps. They get a valid person that's actually been through everything and has done well-architected review through the process. And AWS is comfortable, you know, kind of including them in on the conversation. Yep. That's actually one of my next questions, Toby, is why would you want to co-sell with AWS? Why not just do this on my own? I mean, what's better than having someone from AWS be your sponsor and help carry you into their customer so you can show the value that you bring? You know, it's all about customer service and a, a great customer experience, and you're helping to contribute to that. Again, there's nothing better than, than having someone from AWS represent you and, and kind of carry you into that account. Um, and of course, you got to build the trust with these guys, right? It's not like you can just go to an AWS rep and say, take me into your account. You know, it's all about building trust and showing them that you can demonstrate that you can deliver this from the start to finish and bring value to that customer. It's, it's about nobody else but that customer. And once you can do that, you know, and you have a successful opportunity with one seller, they bring you another customer, you do another one, another one. Before you know it, they're on their team calls and they're getting called out. How are you doing so many well-architected reviews? Like, tell us more about it. And then next thing you know, 
I, as a partner or an ISV, I'm in front of the whole team talking about, you know, how we go to market together. And that just kind of bleeds out inside those teams. And again, builds that credibility, builds that trust. So you can go deeper and farther with more services, cross sell, upsell, you know, it's all about getting the data. Once you got the data, you got the facts, and then you're hopefully from there, you're selling services. If you're doing billing, you're grabbing the bill, MSP services, you're wrapping that all in. And it's just really a, an opportunity to bundle your whole offering together and offer it to a customer and, and, and display that you're capable of delivering it. Toby, I think you said it's key there, the trust, customer obsession. All right, AWS is not gonna bring any partner into the conversation unless they trust that they're all in AWS or value added to their customer. It's always what's in for the customer. What are we doing right by the customer? And when you have that trust that's built with not only AWS, AWS will take you into those customers in the conversation because they know you're gonna do right by them. Now this seems like a good time to jump in and talk about today's sponsor, Veeam. How would you like to own, control, and protect your data in any cloud, anywhere, including AWS? Veeam Backup for AWS is a native solution to protect all of your AWS data. It's fully automated, set it, forget it, within one platform, centrally managed. Veeam Backup for AWS is a robust solution from snapshots, replication, full recovery within AWS, granular file recovery, and including recover outside of AWS. Implement Veeam Backup for AWS today before you find out that your current solution isn't working. Now, how about we get you back to that podcast? Everybody, real quick, our topic today is how to become well-architected at co-selling with AWS. We're talking with Toby Amy, who is a Director of Partner Development. Now, Toby, we were talking about well-architected, how it established, why you would co-sell with them, and the trust. Talk to me from a partner perspective, because, you know, is it a 50-50 relationship, or are you doing most of the work, and AWS is like, all right, listen, I don't want to do this work. You guys can have it. Bring it in here. So what type of relationship is it? So the AWS, so so from a partner perspective, it's all about building the trust and the relationship to get an opportunity to do these um, well-architected reviews. Once you do that, you know, you're, you're bringing in yourself and you're introducing your tool set that you're going to use to run this, this well-architected review. Um, at that point, the AWS seller usually, you know, they'll stay on the calls and stuff, but it's pretty hands-off, right? You're the expert. They want you driving it. They're there just to make sure that everything's going good. But Again, it's it's all about the partner building that trust and, and hopefully building a relationship and turning that into a long-term customer. Okay, a long-term customer is really key because when you do a well-architected review, uh, you know, as a partner, you're working with AWS, you do your review. Toby, you mentioned it earlier, and I have sat through so many where you're flying in, everybody's sitting in a room, and it's an eight-hour session, and the first four hours is just the first pillar. Afterwards, you start to understand what their application is about more, and you can answer these questions a little bit faster. But when I do this review, it's not a once and done. You're done with it. It's something that you actually recommend should be done twice a year, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, these environments are dynamic, right? You could do a well-architected review today, have someone come in tomorrow, add a new workload, make changes, and your whole review is kind of out of sync. So either do it two times a year or have some type of software that's continuously running and making sure that you're well architected on a continuous basis. These tools do these tools do many things, but well architected is a big part of it in the ongoing monitoring and just again that peace of mind and knowing that I'm aligned with these pillars all across the board and you know, it's something I can show to AWS on an ongoing basis to my PDM, my SA, hey, you know, look here, this customer's well architected, here's the report. You know, it's synced up directly into the AWS APIs. So everything you do in the tools is going back up. So AWS has a visibility. You know, a lot of these tools have made a conscious effort to not get between the customer and AWS. So it's a seamless experience from that point. So Toby, let me ask you a question around here. What is the value in co-selling with AWS for me as a seller? I see it a lot. Everybody is hunting customers directly. That's fine. But there's really a lot to be said about teaming up with an AWS rep and going to market together. Um, just a way to broaden your your brand, get you deeper inside of AWS. Like if you're a, a seller with an organization and maybe you sell a lot of servers and hardware and you want to get into cloud and start building your brand and 
you know, stepping in and building that reoccurring revenue for yourself, right? Starting on the first of the month with some business, then really aligning yourself with Amazon is key. And, you know, I, I see it all the time where these reps are just building it and they're getting like eight to 10 deals a week, opportunities a week to go and present a well-architected review to their customers. So it just really is a, a way to generate new opportunities. From my perspective, that's how I go to market with it, with my partners is like, hey, let's build a go-to-market solution together around well architected. Um, you know, yes, it's a loss leader. Like you're not charging for these, but you're getting the meeting. You're getting the opportunity to link that customer and and get them comfortable to bring their data into your environment so you can run it through the well architected um, tool and and get those facts so you can have a meaningful conversation together, build that trust, and then hopefully you start selling from there. You know, you can cross sell, upsell. You're going to get some vulnerabilities. You're going to get projects they're working on. And that's your opportunity to step into the plate and really, you know, showcase your, your abilities to that customer and to AWS. Toby, how hard is it for me to get into AWS or get in there and have them bring me into deals through those conversations? Because I know that you can reach out to one AWS person, but then all of a sudden there's another area or another region and you have to work with them directly. Should you isolate where you're working in and how can you get in there, get in tight with AWS so that you can build a trusted relationship? Well, I think it comes down to a few things, right? Like it comes down to your tiering, right? I think AWS sellers look, are you premier? You advance with competency. People that have been able to demonstrate and show that they're committed to AWS, they're, they're truly an extension. That's one piece of it, showing your commitment to AWS and that you're in it. And then, you know, finding a rep and that you can talk to and show them, hey, like, here's what I can do for you. Here's what we can do together. I'm going to help you hit your marketplace transaction because we're going to do all these through marketplace. We're going to service your customer. And, you know, hopefully we're going to cross sell, upsell and help them grow those workloads, get some net new workloads. And, you know, once you do one of those, then it's all about building trust. I would recommend getting out to events, getting in front of these guys. We're past the days of virtual events now. There's tons of events in your area. Pick a niche, pick a group, whether it's startup, DNB, healthcare, you know, bioscience, whatever, whatever your superpower is, whatever you're passionate about, go start forging your relationships and continuing to focus on those and build them. And, you know, when you get into these events, there's other AWS reps there. That's your opportunity to shine. That's your opportunity to go um, make new relationships. And, and again, just kind of repeat that playbook through, through the whole ecosystem. Toby, relationship and network building is actually very key within any type of environment, and especially with AWS. The in-person events uh, were missing for some time. And that's where a lot of progress slowed, right? We had to do things virtual, but the in-person events where you get to go in and socialize and you build that trust with AWS, where they realize that you are all in, you're committed, it is a two-way street. You bring AWS deals, AWS brings you deals. It's not, I worked for a company once, I actually just had this conversation with Barless UJ about how people think that AWS is gonna just automatically bring them deals but it's a two-way street. You need to bring them vice versa, input all the information because it's a win-win for everybody. How key is this relationship with AWS and the events that you go to in networking? That's where a lot of my relationships have started. You know, reInvent, partner summits, just, you know, meetups, lunch and learns. If you're a partner, get aligned with your PDM, find a team, go sponsor an event, get an opportunity to showcase your brand. You know, maybe you're at the HQ and you can go in there and um, be part of some of these, like the CSC fair um, or whatnot and, and, and sponsor it. Go set up a table and talk to people. People want to learn this stuff, especially if you can demonstrate and know how they get paid and you can hit those key metrics for them. That's a game changer and that's going to really get their attention. You can make it easy to sell something and you can demonstrate success. Game over. Okay. You said make it easy to sell something. Is co-selling with them only limited to SaaS or can I sell anything with AWS? Any well, it's 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 through marketplace, right? That's where I've that's where I've had my success is all through marketplace. You know, figuring out how they're paid through marketplace and then building a playbook around that is where I've had a lot of my success. Hey, this looks like a good place to jump in and talk about today's sponsor, Veeam. How would you like to own, control, and protect your data in the cloud? 
Are you using Salesforce? Veeam has you covered with Veeam Backup for Salesforce, backing up your Salesforce data effortlessly, whether it's on-premise or in the cloud. Honestly, why wouldn't you back up your most critical CRM data from loss or corruption? Now imagine your sales team coming in and not be able to recover all their information, their notes, their pipeline, because it's the one thing you didn't think you needed to back up. How about doing it effortlessly with Veeam Backup for Salesforce? While there are nine reasons that you should back up your Salesforce data, how about just two, data loss and data corruption? Veeam Backup for Salesforce eliminates the risk of you losing your data and metadata due to human error, integration, or other Salesforce data loss scenarios. Check out Veeam Backup for Salesforce today. Now, how about we get you back to that podcast? Okay, so our topic today is how to become well-architected with co-selling with AWS. And I think one of the key things that we haven't talked about, and everybody always knows it exists, but is afraid to touch on the subject a little bit, but how do partners get paid for well-architected reviews? I don't really see a lot of partners charging for well-architected reviews anymore, right? Because some customers are doing it just to kind of check the box and, and get it done. Some partners will be like, all right, take the report. Some customers will take the report. They got the team. They'll do it themselves. I'll remediate phase myself, right? But again- Or take the report and be like, yep, I'll get to this. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, but that's what the credits are for, right? Remediate, remediation credits are for They're trying to help influence- Wait, what services. remediation credits? Oh, you don't know about the remediation credit. So as a partner, if you're in the well-architected program and you do a well-architected review for your customer and you remediate 45% of the HRIs, then that customer becomes eligible for $5,000 in AWS credits. So if I'm going in and I'm saying, hey, Mr. Customer, here's all your HRIs. Wait, what are HRIs? High-risk incidents. Okay. All right, go ahead. Sorry. And I've called, I've heard it called two different things. Um, they're, they're the high risk, the high risk items that you really want to focus on, but you, you get those resolved and then they kick you back 5k, the customer. So the partner can go in and say, Hey, I'm going to charge you 20k to do these remediations, knowing that the customer is going to get 5k back. So it's really a $15,000 service engagement. Nice. And if I'm an enterprise level, right, 5k will help me offset some of my costs for the environment. If I'm a small to medium business, 5k will set me even for the entire year or at least six months for my AWS environment. And it's to help offset the cost of remediation because you're going to be going through and doing a number of things within their AWS account. Now, I want to ask you about the well-architected just a little bit more. Is well-architected for partners or sellers geared only towards AWS environments, or can you actually do it for on-premise, but in a modified manner? I'm sure there's some tools out there. You know, there's there's tools that do it from a multi-hyperscaler perspective, right? But that's nice. not what this is about. But there are, so I will say this, the opposite hyperscaler of Amazon starts with an M. It's pretty much... <laughs> carbon copied the framework. I mean, it's it's like, it's pretty exact, right? So you could do a well-architected review in those environments if you need to. Um, it's something that's being more and more adopted. I know Oracle's adopting it. Um, Google, I don't think they're quite there yet, but it's definitely there with the two major hyperscalers. Okay, so do you recommend the partners, the sellers to actually be become part of the well-architected program in order to be a co-seller with it? Or can I do this without being part of the program, but I can't offer the credits? Well, I mean, listen, if you have a software and you're an ISVA, uh, ISV Accelerate partner, ISV Accelerate partner, then co-sell with, with an AWS rep, right? From a well-architected perspective, I recommend you get in the well-architected program. It adds a lot of value. It builds a lot of trust and it allows you to do the co-sell through that, what's called the triple play with AWS reps, right? Where they're paid certain metrics for doing uh, an ISVA, a partner and through the marketplace. And that that makes them eligible for, you know, um, the, the, tri the triple play that they have. When you say through the marketplace, are you saying any as a co-seller would offer the well-architected review through the marketplace, which allows the AWS reps to not only get, you know, that triple play? Yeah. Uh, so partners can post, can build their own offerings, their own services on AWS marketplace. So well-architected assessment, they can put it up there and, and offer it out. And off, off of that, they're building an MPPO to their customer. 
right? And the customer accepts that MPPO to get the whole engagement going. So Toby, real quick, you mentioned MPPO. What does that stand for? It's a marketplace partner private offer. And it's- Oh, I just had this conversation with Barless on public and private offers in the marketplace. And now this is actually tying together and making complete sense. We're talking about well-architected review and co-selling with AWS. Really, how do I get started, Toby? I mean- I am an AWS partner. I've got products. I've got services. How do I get started? What's the first thing I should even do? Like knock on everybody's door. Yo, AWS rep, come over here. I need your help. Let's say I want to co-sell with AWS. What's my first thing that I should do? I mean, to get involved and get out there. Well, obviously you got to register to be an AWS partner and work your way. Okay, check. What's next? Um, go onto the marketplace and register, you know, get a register to be a marketplace private offer seller. Or if you're an ISVA, you get to push out a CPPOs and channel, pri- channel partner private offers. Uh, I think that's what it stands for. Push those out. Um, but you got to go enroll like into it and into the program, right? And once you get the authorization, then now you can go in and create your own offers. Um, whether you're taking an existing offer from an ISV and making it your own to push out. That's what I do with my partners is we push a a CPPO to my partner and they take that CPPO and turn it into an MPPO and just rinse and repeat and use that over and over again um, to generate more deals. Okay. So I created this in marketplace. I'm ready to go. Right. I want to like now go into my AWS rep or should I be at the same time working with my AWS rep and networking with other AWS to show them that the value that I have is going to help their customers in the long run because AWS does not want anything to do with a partner or co-seller that uh, is basically saying, here, I want to sell more. It's what value you're bringing to your customers. So what's my next steps? Getting in there. So obviously you do want to align with your PDM. I would, you know, probably get a call with someone that your marketplace person that's assigned to your account, learn more about the marketplace build your offer with them. For what I do, you're going to want to associate yourself with an ISVA, right? So a platform that's going to help you uh, deliver that well-architected review. You can use the AWS tool, but you know, it's, it's not going to, it's not as fast and it's not going to get you that marketplace offer. So go establish yourself as a marketplace seller, uh, align with your PDM, align with your marketplace person and build an offer together and and get that in market and then get out to your AWS reps and start talking about it, flexing your superpowers. You know, we do well architected reviews, you know, we're a super, we, we do them, you know, we work with pick an industry, healthcare, whatever, right. A superpower and just focus on that. And I'm telling you, you only need one or two really successful opportunities and it, it takes off. Um, that's the playbook that I've designed and and been using and had a lot of success with it. Toby, before we wrap things up, uh, with Well Architected, it's been out there since, uh, a lot of partners have been picking it up since 2017 ish, uh, 2018 was key in 2019, right around then where it started, where the APIs weren't there just yet until they kind of rounded out by 2020. Is it a watered down market now that everybody offers it as a way to like land and expand or to remediate, or is there still capabilities for partners to get in and start doing well-architected reviews in a trusted manner? There is tons of opportunity. So I haven't checked in a while, but like in 2020, there was like 400 well-architected partners. And last time I checked, it's been a while, there was like over 600. You know, AWS wants to do a lot of well-architected reviews um, every year, right? Every If you're an AWS user, you should be having a well-architected review. It's it, You should just do it. So the, the, the opportunity is endless, in my opinion. Now, it's you as a partner where you want to spend your time, right, and, and focus your, your energy, whether it's on migrations or well-architected reviews or wherever, right? But if a partner's really looking for a good, strong go-to-market, and again, building trust and, and having meaningful conversations, I do recommend the well-architected program. And also, you know, to answer your last question, now that I'm thinking about it, I would even get aligned with the well-architected team. Those guys are great. Um, I work with Brandon over there. They're really good at helping to enable you, making sure that you know what's required to be in the program. You can't just go raise your hand and say, I got to be in the program. You got to do a certain amount of well-architected reviews every year. You know, you got to have people certified. 
So go learn from, have your PDM introduce you to the well-architected team, have a call with them, better understand it, learn how you can get aligned, learn how you can get in the program. They'll recommend tools that you should be using. I know a few if you want to talk to me, but that's not what this is about. Um, but yeah, that's, that's another thing that I forgot to mention. Awesome. Toby, man, I really appreciate you giving everybody the knowledge that you have experienced over the years to actually be well-architected in CoSell with AWS, utilizing not only the well-architected framework, but kind of a methodology to build trust with the customers and AWS and the partners. Toby, before we wrap things up, is there anything you'd like to leave the audience with? I would just say, you know, if, you, if you're not in it, check it out. If you are in it and you're having doubts and not having success, you know, ask yourself why, you know, how, how are you aligning yourself? What tools are you using? Are you really thinking about the AWS sellers, right? If you're going to co-sell, it's all about the AWS sellers. So are you aligned with their KPIs? Take time to learn about them. How can you make them successful through this motion? And they'll tell you, they, we all want the same thing. It doesn't hurt to ask and learn about it. Um, but that's kind of what I would leave you with. Um, it's It's been a great resource for me and my partners. Uh, I speak about it highly every day. I thank you for allowing me to be here and speak about what I've been doing and how I use it. And um, yeah, I hope as a partner that, you know, more and more partners start taking a look at this. Awesome. Toby, thank you so much for joining me, man. It's great to have you on the show. This has been really awesome. I really appreciate it. So Toby, I'm going to wrap things up and do a quick ending for everybody. Everybody, it was Toby Amy, Director of Partner Development, and we're talking about how to become well-architected at co-selling with AWS. My name's John Meyer. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notify, because guess what? We're out of here. Peace. <laughs>